didn't realize how deep the water was getting <laughs> on the front end. <laughs> What's up, Light Bright Nation? Good morning, Light Bright Nation. We are in Arkansas today, believe it or not. Yeah, we are in beautiful, beautiful Arkansas. We are at Birds Adventure Center, which is a place that I stumbled across maybe five years ago with Brittany's brother. By, by accident. accident. I've asked people all over the country if they've ever been here. And most of them say well, no. This is kind of a hidden gym, but essentially it's a place you can come to do all sorts of things with your family. Not only do they have wheeling, of course, that's one of the main reasons we're here, but they also have everything else you could really think of. They have kayaking, rafting. There's a rope swing right here on the river that you can go off into the river, go swimming. They've got cabins, they've got tent camping, they've got RV hookups, and There's it's There's all beautiful. sorts of hiking trails, and as Kevin said, it is absolutely beautiful. But before we show you the trails, we really, really do want to show you just how beautiful it is. And to help us do that, we have our friends over here, Ryan and Van, who are going to show you just how awesome this place is with the help of their Kodiak. Dude, <laughs> we're going in a plane. We're going in a plane. What's up, Light Bright Nation? I'm Ryan, I'm a subscriber of Light Bright. We love them. We're gonna go wheeling today, but this is our Kodiak. We're gonna get a good shot from the sky. This thing is so utility, it's like the Jeep of the sky. You can carry your <laughs> eight best friends and all the luggage, camping gear, and check out the trails. Come in and out of the smallest strips that uh, this size of aircraft could get in and out of, so. And that's kind of the excited. cool thing with this uh, adventure center here, the Birds Adventure Center, is they have Airstrips. They have like three three landing strips? Four actually. They have yeah. four landing, landing strips, strips on the property here. And like you said, this thing is like the Jeep of the sky. It's got like 29 inch tires. And yeah. then so 750 it, horsepower yeah. engine. And for once, something in this world <laughs> makes the stepchild look puny as shit. <laughs> Dude, it looks so small. Sorry, stepchild. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is like a Jeep. Look, it, it has, a, like grab, a, has a grab handle. handle. You yeah. have the steps. <laughs> you gotta climb into it. It is, yeah, so it's a turboprop. It's a turboprop, Brittany. Here's the Taz inhibit button I was telling you about. So we'll push that so it doesn't yell at us. And then we're gonna go to our system setup and we're gonna disable the protections. Wait, what protection? One that fights you when you're trying to turn. Okay. So if you go past a 45 degree bank, it'll start nudging you back. If you get to a 60 degree bank, it really starts pushing on you. We don't wanna be fighting the airplane when we're flying kind of uh, at the envelope. Uh, yeah, this is your captain speaking.
you have to slow down so much because the runway is so short. on grass but now at least as of now that's way scarier than landing on like a normal runway with like normal yeah, distance no, no. and flat like, uh... landing is my least favorite part in an airplane <laughs> all right so i've got to say like this right here the instrument panel too is pretty nuts there's a million buttons yeah well the kodiak <laughs> 100 it's a series 2 so it comes with the garmin nxi primary flight display mfd the company we work for midcontinent instruments and avionics builds the md302 standby attitude module and uh so if for some reason this all went blank you lose electrical you can still fly because it has its own battery backup Oh, that's kind of so cool. if you're in the clouds you can't see you can still maneuver get yourself to a safe place yeah. and uh and not uh, run so. into something but we also have a division of our company true blue power that builds usb ports power supplies lithium batteries oh yeah super cool you were telling us about that earlier you were saying too that you make them strong enough like i could charge my laptop oh yeah so our newest ones have the pd for power delivery and the type c can actually do a voltage switching so you can plug in your phone unplug it and then plug in your laptop and the little usb will know to step up the voltage for it oh that's pretty dope dude this is crazy that was awesome thank you you're welcome good job <laughs> so now it's our turn to show these guys some off-roading since they took us out in the plane now van over here where you have Van? he's never been off-roading before this is his very, very first time. Are we just driving over rocks or we're, what's going on? Pretty much. <laughs> we're just kind of driving through stuff. <laughs> we got Ryan in the buggy with Brittany. And actually a whole bunch of people came out to show us around because, well, we don't want to just kind of go out here and not know what we're doing. We want to actually show what the park's all about. So these guys right here, thank you everybody. <laughs> so they're going to show us what's up. We're going to head out right now and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So really, you just uh, come right back out the park and all the trails are just on that mountain right over there and there's a little stream we'll go to. So you kind of just head out and head across the street. So if you go side by side or four wheeler, dirt bike, I mean, you can drive across the highway and stuff. So you don't, it doesn't have to be like a street legal vehicle. Although he does have a plate on that one, a big plate too. Although I don't know how that's street legal, <laughs> but it's an Arkansas like full size plate. That's pretty cool. You're in a buggy. I think you should be the one filming or have him film because I'm in a Jeep and, and it's a little bit more difficult to like drive a full-size Jeep and not reverse. Where are you going? <laughs> It's wet today, but sometimes like if you're getting ready to go by a tree or there's a drop off or like part of the trails wiped out Sometimes you just have to go like speed You know speed is sometimes your friend. Yep um, Because you just carry that momentum through it I 
couldn't do it. You turn a tad driver and then like give it a go. Yeah. You get mud on you? You got a go-go. You would have made that one. You waited way too long to hit the gas. He's got his own crawler, but we'll show that later. We'll show more in later. Look at that. Walked right up and over it. Showed Brittany up. Showed me up. Freaking 13 year old. Britt, you just, uh, you just, just got, got showed up by a 13 year old. You did. In a street Jeep. In a street Jeep. In your buggy. Street touring Jeep. What's up hey, with that? It's all about the clearance and this wheelbase and the... Yeah, so what are you going to do about I, it? Nothing. I made it up. Look at that. So the second to last time I stopped because it started spraying the mud. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, but that was close. If I just yeah. stick with it a little you longer can also, you can take go more it. more tire pressure maybe. We're pretty low in tire pressure. Oh, you know. I made it through. It was fine. Yeah, but I mean, he literally just like idled up it. It's a shorter wheelbase. <laughs> it's a shorter wheelbase. <laughs> So what do you think of this? this? Is your first time at Bird's, not mine. How this is think? my first time. This is pretty awesome. It's really pretty here. It's just like just trails and trails and trails. I think it'd be slightly more fun if it wasn't quite as muddy. <laughs> but that's an East Coast kind of. Oh, water, thank you. That's kind of an East Coast thing. You get some mud off here. Yeah, I. Here. I can like taste it in my mouth, and it's not like good mud. It's like. Wait, is there good mud? It's doo doo mud. Yeah, is there's like there's mud that's just like mud, and then there's mud that like. A nice face. <laughs>
donuts around it. <laughs> so dumb and awesome at the same time. <laughs> So we're gonna jump in this Jeep. This is, what's your name, bud? Braxton. So this is Braxton, and you are how old? I'm 13. He's 13, he's, guys, he's by himself in this Jeep, 13 years old. Now this is, what what kind of Jeep is this? So um, what, what year is it? It's a 95. It's a 95 Wrangler. He's been driving this for about four years. He's getting it, like there's nobody over here spotting him. We're just driving along these trails. It's a lot easier to see in his Jeep than it is in ours or our buggy, but as you can see, this is how you two foot. You literally, you always brake with your left and you gas with your right. Yep. Um, and that's what I try to tell them people all the time that are new to off-roading. Oh, that tree's really close. Yeah, we're gonna use it to swing around actually. So you, you're not taking your right foot off the gas and then onto the brake and off the gas and on the brake. You're holding kind of steady throttle with the gas and then you're feeding the brake in and out. You're never shuffling feet like you do in a car on the road. But uh, say hi to yourself and your friends because you're going hey. yeah, to be on YouTube. Your, so his parents did say it was okay for me to come over here and film them. But uh, this thing's cool, man. This thing's cool. And this is all yours, huh? Yes, sir. Are you going to be driving this to school when you get when you turn 16? I don't know. Is it, it's scary to drive on the road. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Yeah. But. He's just on uh he's just on some springs, some Bill Stein shocks, long arm and some uh, STT pros. I mean that's a very it's a very simple build. I mean it sounds like he's got a V8 and he's got some big axles. He's got yeah, he does have Dynatrax. So he's got some Dynatrax under there. Um and I mean it's a Jeep. I mean it's got a license plate. He can drive it wherever he wants. Well, probably not cuz he doesn't have a uh, a license. But uh it's a Jeep nonetheless. What were you saying? What? I heard you, what were you saying? They were saying how they felt bad because you're having to like hike and stuff while we're just sitting in the car. And I said, <laughs> and I said it's about time that the roles were reversed. Yeah. This is the waterfall. This is the little waterfall. I guess there's a little one and a big one. I tried this five years ago with my brother-in-law, Justin, Brittany's brother, and I don't remember if we made it or not, um, but I, I bet you the buggy will. Right there. 
Yeah, let it walk over a little bit to the driver. Yeah, right there. Oh, he's got it. This kid can drive. He, he knows his rig. Super light, big tires. And he's not on stickies like everybody else. Everybody else is on stickies and he's driving right with everybody. Good job, bud. Thank you. Puppy, my love. Hello, hello, kid's showing you up. No, 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 I made it up too. <laughs> yeah, but he stayed committed. Also, get in. Hop in. Oh. <laughs> also, you told me there's a big rock in front of my driver's side, so I got up just enough until I knew I was up, and then I let off because I didn't know where that rock was. Anyways. That kid's showing her up. I did it! Give me a high five! High five, babe. Good job. Thank you. Also, the kid's doing great. <laughs> so this here is the big waterfall. Um, it's so hard to show any kind of size on camera. So you go up this guy here. I'm just trying to walk up to this thing and it's a pain in the butt. So they said you kind of drive up this wall and then you walk it over until you're over here and then you got to kind of back up and bump it and send it. But you got to make sure it doesn't push you to the right because if it does, you have too much grip over here and it'll just flip you and you'll roll, 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 roll. It's really hard to tell how much steep this is, but this is straight and this is only about 30 yards from me to him. It's a uh, it's very, very steep. Maybe if I show the side hill. This rock, whoa. This rock here is super slick. There's no grip to these rocks. I think those are 43 inch uh, stickies. Uh, that's what you have to see. You have to go over there where your tires can grab, and then you want it to walk you, and you want it to walk you over. So you gotta get up there so you get traction. And then you need to walk over to that bowl, and then you need to give it gas to get up it. I guess you could always front dig it. know how to do it and know how to rock bounce I guess that's how you do it Brittany's a bit more timid with the throttle yet so I will see what happens it's definitely better to make it on the first shot than it is getting halfway up and then falling back down actually really good commitment and then she cusses at a 13 year old I wasn't cussing at the kid it was directed at you <laughs> I, you were looking over my head she was up there looking over my head looking back at him yeah, yeah. I was not I was, it was I can't turn my head that I was directed at you no, 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 no. 
had that feel. It felt awesome. It was fine. So it does it. have the power. The other day with Lauren Healy, you were pussyfooting it because that obviously. I was absolutely power. pussyfooting it because I've never been in anything that is quite as capable of this. That's capable of doing crazy stuff. When you're in this with this much articulation, but you're still got this tire four feet into the air, it's a little unnerving. I gotta get used to it. Unlike you, I don't have thousands of hours with my ass in the seat of an off-road vehicle. It's just gotta take time and get used to it. I want a buggy now, so I'm gonna get a buggy no. so we can buggy together. We're gonna be buggy buddies. No. Nope. Buggy bros. No. Nope. Butt buggies. <laughs> Need a ride, hot stuff? I do. You mean short stuff? Short stuff? I feel like every time you get in the buggy, you get in a different way. I did, because I, I normally sit on the tire, but the tire is full of mud right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> you want me to step on the tire and then step on your seat? Now another really cool thing about Bird's Adventure Center is like Kevin said not only do they have some RV parking and camping over there but they also have a couple of cabin on site as well that you can rent out. Now Kevin, myself, Ryan, and Van were lucky enough to stay in this cabin right here which had a full kitchen, a whole shared living area, two bedrooms, and two full baths and not to mention this incredible view right outside the front door. They've also got a restaurant on site here at Bird's Adventure Center. And luckily, you guys were able <laughs> to see the beautiful river from the airplane yesterday when we were flying because... The last night, our whole cabin was literally shaking. I've actually never seen or felt a storm that crazy. It woke us up. Huge, <laughs> huge thunderstorm rolled yeah. through. And now the river is a little bit angrier than it's, it was it's, yesterday. It's super crazy. But they do have all sorts of water sports here as well. Kayaking, rafting, obviously. During the summertime, swimming is amazing. And if you look over there. There's a rock garden actually right there and there's actually a flex ramp over there. Anyways, we always love having the opportunity to show you guys new places and new things. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. Did I get to say how how just proud I am of you with the new buggy? She's getting more comfortable. Just a few trails in. Look at it. You got it all dirty. But no, she did great. She did great for trails here. And I think we're headed. We're gonna stop somewhere else a little bit harder. Remember, we're on our way to Jeep Beach, but mm -hmm. along the way, we want to do some fun stuff and show you guys some cool things. So. Yeah. We love you so much, and we'll we will see, see you, you next, next time. time. Bye, Bye, guys. Bed. Good girl. Bang. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs>